just sitting in these shallow bays, mixing up between a chatter bait and a swim jig. Two staples for early spring fishing for bass. And there's a lot of days where they'll hit one and they won't hit the other one. So you gotta mix it up, especially if you're not getting bit. Or if they seem to be short striking one or the other, that's another good, good time to mix it up a little bit. Third lake I've been on this morning already. And what's funny is all three are different size lakes and all three have been right in that 52 and a half to 53 degree water temp. Everywhere, main lake, bays. It's crazy how the water can all be the same temperature like that. So many times those shallow bays are way warmer than the main lake. It wouldn't be so bad if those rain and snow showers would just stay away. Wet hands when it's 38 degrees is not a good thing. If you're casting up to the cattails and don't get bit, and it's a smaller type bay like this, it, a lot of times it pays off to cast out in the middle. Usually there's a little bit deeper water out there. And a lot of times those fish just back off and then start milling around. It only takes a couple minutes to fire a few casts out in there to see. There's a fish right off that point. Oh, it's a good one. Oh. So I threw that chatterbait right across that plane of cattails. And there's a good fish right there. Mouthful of vibrating blade bait. And switch gears a little bit here. I got this beast hook with that center pin. I'm gonna hook this spark shad on it. I had this on a jig head, an open jig, but I want something a little more weedless. So you can see the comparison here. Up in the shallow bay, this just does not work. Too heavy, even though it's a half ounce, plus it's an open hook. This thing here should come through perfect. I'll be able to throw it right up in those cattails. Because it seems like that's where those fish are sitting, especially where the wind's blowing in. San Diego jam knot. The chatterbait was getting some bites, but you gotta work it kind of fast for how cold the water is. Cause it's shallow, soft bottom. If you don't keep reeling it, that chatterbait goes right into the bottom and catches that moss and stuff. So the spark shad with this belly weighted hook, I can just slow roll it through there. Even kill it when I get to some of those pockets or pieces of wood. And by slowing it down just that little bit, it might make a big difference in getting bit when the conditions are tough like this. Okay, there's some scattered pieces of wood and stuff in this two to three foot area. That could be warmer and it gives those fish something to lay against or just be around, especially in tough conditions.
all train swim jig. Oh, oh, oh. oh yeah. <laughs> it's been a grind, but stuck with it. Swim jig, five inch grub. Little opening in the cattails. Had one swing and miss, threw in a little bit further down and got this one. Usually I use that quarter ounce swim jig in the spring, but today I got a 5 16 on just because it's a little windier. And I just, I need to be able to cast it and be able to feel it just a little more. Put that swim jig right on those cattails. Nice healthy fish. Five sixteen zones, all terrain jig. There's a nice bass. Oh, there's a good one. Look at that. Oh. Look at that fish there. Oh. It's got sleet coming down. And I've been working for these, man. Holy smokes. Lots of fish, not a lot of size. This all train swim jig is chopped up, beat up. <laughs> Look at that nice fish. <laughs> Minnesota opener, cold water, cold temps cold air temps sticking with it trying to piece together the day here yet oh I just stood up and cast back in there Back to back cast. <laughs> back to back cast on a swim jig up in some cattail bogs that are blown in. There's little channels. Hoofed. Cast in a row. <laughs> Three casts in a row on that all-terrain swim jig. I went from a quarter ounce up to a five sixteenths. Green pumpkin trailer, just casting up to cattails.
Figuring out a little pattern here. It's floating cattails, not on the bank, but suspended over the water. I'm just throwing a 5 16th swim jig in there. Sometimes I'm letting it hit the bottom and starting to swim it again. That's triggering those fish. swim jig big bellies <laughs> mouthful right there <sighs> the key is swimming that swim jig just a little ways and then it crash into the bottom and it's triggering these bigger fish to go down and just hammer it That jig choked again. Yep, I'm cold. I'm cold. <laughs> <laughs> 